Hi, so now I'm going to show you how to use um, text and create a work path from it and then manipulate that work path and also how to bring that text into the channels and maybe add some elements in the channels and then we'll just throw a layer style on it at the end so let's get started uh, I've got this text here and I've just centered it Arial black font and I'm going to right click on the text layer and I'm going to, well first of all I'll do a copy because that's always a good idea so on a text copy I'll do um, well <coughs> I'm going to do convert to shape um, I don't think there's a great difference between the work path and the shape um, so we'll just use it as a shape now I'm going to turn off the text go to the paths and make sure that it's selected and there you can see if I zoom in you can see the path there come back to the layers, create a new blank layer now there's two arrows here, path selection, direct selection I've lost that now, there we go if I go on to path selection and click over just a corner or an edge of a letter it will select the whole um, letter if I click through them all it will select them all um, the direct selection selects individual points on a path so what we can do here is bring these up so what I'm doing is I'm selecting them so you'll see they'll go solid black rather than not solid black and then I'm holding down the shift and moving them up I'm holding down the shift so it says constrained and straight I'll also bring these down I'll bring these down and I'm not creating anything in Pacific here just kind of playing there we go now after you've done that we need to turn this into a selection let's get the path selection tool select it all you can press control enter to bring it into a selection or you could have gone onto the path palette and chose this button here which will turn path to selection on that blank layer I'm going to fill with white which is my foreground so alt delete let's change the background to black so control delete oops I'm still selected so I need to deselect and then there we go now let's bring this into the channels and what you'll notice is by using work paths or shapes or channels is that you don't have to stick with the text the way it come you can manipulate it and get it how you want so if you can't find the right text or if it doesn't exist you can find one similar and then manipulate it yourself so let's control click on that thumbnail and then come to the channels create a new channel and then alt delete to fill with white control D to deselect and now we can add some elements in here so I think I'll add a rectangle there and I'm just pressing shift to add another selection so I can add a rectangle there and I'm going to press alt delete to fill them with white I'm going to draw a whole box around it I'm going to do edit stroke probably about 25 pixels on the center click OK control D to deselect now to bring this back into our layers we just control click on the channel go to layers and then go alt delete now let's just quick chuck a quick layer style on it and there we go so that's just showing you how to create a work path or shape from text manipulate it and also use the channel to add some elements and i'll see you next time thanks for watching